Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a monthly reading for the sign of Gemini. So Gemini, we're going to look at the month ahead, which is the month of April, and see what messages Spirit has for you, what you can expect. Remember that this is general, so not everything is going to resonate. Just take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So let's go ahead and jump into your reading. Spirit, give me a message for Gemini. I'm getting the song, it's been a long time coming, but a change is going to come. So yeah, it's something that you've been waiting for. You yeah, heard something very significant, Gemini. And this change that you're expecting is going to be taking place. Yeah, Spirit says it's about to take place. It's been a long time coming. Yes, it's been a long time. You've been waiting on this. You've been hoping for this, wishing, praying for this, but it is finally here, Gemini. I have the Hermit. I have the Knight of Cups in the reverse. And I have the Star. Yes. It's been a long time coming, but a change is going to come. I feel like for some of you with this star, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. A lot of attention, a lot of notoriety. Whatever it is that you've been um, hoping for, it's going to take off. I heard Zoom. So yeah, it's going to go very quickly and it's going to happen very suddenly. I'm getting like the Eight of Wands. So it's going to be a very fast moving energy. For some of you, Spirit says like this is going to happen out of the blue. For others of you with this Hermit energy and this Knight of Cups, I just see you pulling back your energy from a situation that is no longer fulfilling. And with the Star, it's like you're choosing yourself recognizing your worth like recognizing that you deserve more than what this person has to offer let's clarify further spirit tell me more about the hermit look at what i have i have temperance in the reverse and i have the queen of pentacles in the reverse so yeah for some of you, this person may be a Virgo or a Sagittarius with this temperance, but you have grown impatient or you will be growing impatient when it comes to the situation or this person because you're not getting what you want. I heard like lack, like I heard like lackluster, like... I heard connection. So yeah, for some of you, this is about a relationship. This kind of relationship is very like lackluster. And it's like, I heard like testing your patience. Like you're going to be done. <laughs> like this person has tested you long enough and you're go tired. You're ultimately going to be completely tired in the month of April. And I just see you walking away because you know you're not going to be getting what you want. Like this person doesn't see your value. They don't recognize your worth. Let's get a message for the Knight of Cups in the reverse. And then I'm looking at the water, Gemini's like, you just kept giving and giving and giving. And it's like going back and forth, like just giving, trying to do everything that you could do when it comes to the situation. But it just would not work. And so you just have to pull back. Withdraw yourself completely. Let's get a message for the Knight of Cups in the reverse. What do I have? I have the seven of wands in the reverse. I heard giving up. You're giving up. You're no longer investing into this situation. You're not getting the offer, the stability that you desire. So it's like you're giving up. You're no longer fighting for this. Again, your patience like is going to be over you're done like you have been patient enough and like you're tired of waiting for change you're tired of waiting for this person to do right by you or for this situation to improve tell me about the star 
Yep, I have the Two of Cups in the reverse. So yeah, again, you are now seeing your worth. It's like, you know what? If this person doesn't value me, I have to value myself. If this person doesn't love me, I have to love myself. I'm getting the song, um, You Don't Have to Like Me, I Like Myself. I forgot who sings that song, but I know um, the rapper is um, deceased. I just cannot. MO3. Yes, there it is. They don't have to love you. You can love yourself. They don't have to want to be with you. You can be by yourself. They don't have to like you. You're going to like yourself. Yeah, this is you in that star energy, that Aquarius energy. For some of you, you may have significant placements in Aquarius. Let's look at your spiritual energy for the month. But yeah, this is definitely you ending a relationship. Like you're tired of fighting for it. You've been patient enough. It's not giving you what you want. And it's just time to go. Spirit, give me some spiritual energy for the sign of Gemini. Open your arms, oblivion. I'm getting open your arms to the impossible. So, Spirit, I heard like a test of your faith. Like, Spirit wants you to believe. To believe in the impossible and be open to new experiences. Don't be so closed off because it's like, look at the flowers. There's something that is growing. There is something that is evolving that you cannot see. And the reason why you can't see it is because it's like you have your back turned. It's like, look, the flowers are taped to her back and they're growing, they're blooming, but she doesn't recognize it. It's all about perception and how you view a situation. You can either choose to look at the lighter side or you continue to focus on the negative. But Spirit is saying, pay attention to the flowers. They are attached to her. It's like this blessing, this new beginning, it is yours. It is, is it it is attached to you. It's attached to you. It's not going anywhere. It's here. But do you see it? Do you recognize it, Gemini? Let's get another message. I don't know why I wanted to say... Someone may stutter. That's what I'm getting. Like, God just gave me that. Someone may stutter. So, it could either be you or this person. Someone has, like, a stuttering issue. I have pause in your journey. Yeah. A pause in your journey. I feel like for some of you, like, God is slowing you down so that you can smell the roses. So that you can finally take in the experience. Open your eyes. It's time for you to open your eyes, Gemini. Let's get some more messages. Spirit, give me some more spiritual energy for Gemini. Have happiness. Yes, Gemini, your happiness, your fulfillment is attached to you. All you have to do is look over your shoulder and see it. This is about you just being in a more lighter spirit in the month of April. I feel like a lot of things are coming in and I'm getting like the waves will wash you clean. It's like whatever has been going on in your life, whatever has been bothering you, spirit is completely washing you out of that energy and bringing, ushering in something brand new, something lighter, something that you can truly bask in and be happy about. But again, you just have to see it. You have to pay attention to it and stop focusing on the negativity, the would'ves, could'ves, should'ves. The next message I have is fulfillment. Yes, there's something coming in. I heard like blossom and bloom that is going to make you very happy. For some of you, this is about your growth as a person. Spirit says like your soul's growth. For others of you, there's something coming in that is going to bring a lot of happiness. I'm also getting like a child for someone. Um, I heard like child in the family. So a family member or you may be giving birth. But it's like something is going to come in to take your mind off of 
whatever you're going through. And I'm just going back to like pause in your journey. Like spirit is kind of going to put things on hold so that you can just embrace the moment. Because for some of you, it's like you keep worrying about the next step and then the next step after that. No, you just need to focus on this one step. This step that you just completed. And enjoy the progress that you made. Again, going back to the hermit energy, it's like you just taking time to reflect. To reflect on what is instead of what shall be. Let's pull some more. Spirit, give me some more spiritual energy for Gemini. More spiritual energy for Gemini. What do I have? Kicked out. Someone may be getting kicked out of the house. Yeah. This is going to be about you releasing. Like this month is going to be about you letting go. Releasing, letting go. I'm getting like fear and anxiety for some of you. I'm also getting clutter for someone like you may be cleaning out your home. I just heard like ushering in a new energy. And look at what I have. Termination. You may be getting let go from a job. You're fired. Yeah. This is going to be about you releasing. That's the only way you're really going to be happy. You're going to feel complete. Is by letting go of things. Yeah. Opening your arms. Like you're so closed off because it's like you're, you're still holding on. And so... With this open your arms, it's like once you open your arms, then you release and you become free. And then you no longer hold on to things that are not beneficial to you. And you can allow things that are going to help you. That are going to be positive into your life, Gemini. So yeah, it's like with her arms closed off, it's like she's still holding on. And it's like the thing she's holding on to, you know, saddens her. It depletes her. But it's like once she opens her arms, then that's when she can be happy. That's when she can embrace joy, peace. That's when she can come out of this water and walk on dry land. Walk on new ground, a new feeling, have a new life, a new way of being. But you just have to be open to it. And you be open to it by getting rid of those things that are not good for you, that are not healthy, thoughts, feelings, people, this person. Yeah. I heard embracing. This month is going to be about you embracing. Embracing the new. Having a different experience. Embracing the joy that is right there in front of you. I'm also getting depression for someone you may um, deal with depression. And I keep hearing stuttering, like someone stutters. Let's look at some love energies for you. I have the star in the reverse. Let's get some more messages. Okay, they're ready. The nine of cups. Okay, I have the full one and I have the seven of cups. Okay, so for some of you, it's like you are going to be happy that you left the situation in the month of April. Like this is you learning how to be alone and enjoy it. It's like I can do bad all by myself. But instead of I can do bad all by myself, it's going to be I can be happy all by myself. So you're really going to be in good spirits, especially now with the star in the reverse. You walked away from someone who really did not value you. And I feel like with this full energy, this person is going to try to come back. I heard like conjure. Yeah, they're going to try to get you back. They may beg, they may plead, get on their bended knee, but it's not going to work because you're going to be off entertaining other options. For some of you, you're going to be dating. You're going to have a lot of admirers. 
I heard like play the game. Yeah, it's like you're finally going to just enjoy the single life, Gemini. Let's clarify a little bit further. Spirit, tell me about the star in the reverse. The spirit is ready. I can't make it up. Someone wants to talk. Exactly. There's someone who is going to try to come back in the month of April. They want to talk to you. They want to amend the situation. Tell me about this fool. I have offers, yeah, because this person, they may know that you are dating someone else or this person, I'm getting like make-believe. So it's like in their mind, they think <laughs> that you're already seeing other people, you're dating other people, they imagine this, they envision this, and it's like, no, I don't want to see you with anyone else. Let me try to work my way back in. Let's get a message for the Nine of Cups. And for some of you, they are coming back to make an offer to you. Okay, so let's get a message for the Nine of Cups. I can't make it up. New energy and new love. Exactly. You are focused on the brand new. You are not thinking about anybody from your past. With this Nine of Cups and this energy, it's like you're just... In a light-hearted spirit, um, you're happier, you feel free, um, you're just ready to have a whole new experience when it comes to relationships. So it's like you're not even thinking about this person and I'm just looking at the smile on her face and I heard like laugh. Like the fact that this person may try to come back to you, Gemini, like you're going to find it laughable. Let's get a message for the Seven of Cups. I'm also getting like texts. This person may try to reach out to you through text message, Gemini. Let's get a message for the Seven of Cups. Give me a message for the Seven of Cups for Gemini. Oh, I have dreams. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of admirers. A lot of people are going to want you. They're going to want to date you, take you out, show you a good time. I heard romance you, Gemini. So, yeah, you're definitely be having a lot of options in the month of April. I heard a lot to choose from. Let's look at some career energy for you. Spirit, give me some career energy for Gemini. Career energy. Okay, what do I have? I have the two of swords in the reverse. Spirit, give me some more career energy for Gemini. Some more career energy. Ooh, that flipped out. I have the full. Okay. Let's get another message. And I have the two of wands. So, yeah, someone is definitely moving on from a job. You are making a decision to, I heard, go somewhere else. So, for some of you, you may be leaving one job to start a brand new job with another company. I'm getting with the two of wands. For some of you, I heard, like, relocation. You may have to relocate for this new job. I'm also getting travel. For someone, you may be traveling in the month of April. I heard, like, April 12th. I'm also getting, like, April 15th. And the 17th for someone. Yeah, I heard like vacation. Let's clarify a little bit further. Spirit, tell me more about this two of swords. Yeah, but it's like you're not going to be conflicted. Like you're ready for something brand new, a brand new experience. Um, Yeah, for someone, you definitely may be traveling for this new job opportunity. Or in relocating. And the two of wands came out again. Yeah, someone is traveling for a job you are going to be traveling i heard company i'm getting ceo you may be in placed in a higher position but yeah you're definitely going to be traveling and i'm just looking at her phone you're going to be taking a lot of flights taking a lot of trips gemini let's clarify the full Yeah, I heard I want to see the world. Yeah, for some yeah, you're definitely gonna see the world, Gemini, for some of you. You're going to see a lot of the world. Tell me about the fool. What do I have? <laughs> Seven of Cups. Okay. For some of you, you're gonna have multiple options when it comes to a job. 
you're going to have your pick of the litter, so to speak. Yeah, you're going to have a lot of jobs to choose from. A lot of people are going to be knocking down your door. They're going to want to offer you opportunities when it comes to your career, Gemini. So it's like you're going to have multiple offers, not just one. Let's get a message for the two of wands. Okay. I have the seven of wands. I feel like for some of you, you may not want to travel or you may not want to relocate. <laughs> You may not want to move when it comes to this job opportunity. Tell me more about the Seven of Wands. I'm also getting, like, for some of you, there may be someone who may try to make you stay. I'm getting, like, a relationship. You may be in a relationship and your significant other may try to get you to stay. They don't want to move. They don't want to relocate. For others of you, like, this is family. I can't make it up. The world and the hangman. Yes. You're going to have to travel for this. A lot of travel. I see a lot of travel for you, Gemini, when it comes to your career. I have the world, the two of wands, twice. A lot of travel. Yes. And with this hang one, like, I'm just getting... You're going to think this through. Like, you're just not going to make this decision on a whim. And I feel like you are definitely going to accept this opportunity. But there is someone, like, for some of you, I don't feel like this is your energy. This is somebody else's energy who's like, we not going or you're not going. But you like, yes, I am going. I thought about this. I'm ready. Yeah. You're ready for a whole new experience. So it's like... <sighs> Oh my goodness. Spirit says, forget this person's feelings. Yeah, it's like, it's all about you. you. You can't really be worried about the next person because this is going to be a great opportunity. I heard like a lifetime. So this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity for you that you are not going to turn down. But there's someone who's going to fight you tooth and nail on this all the way, Gemini. So get ready. I also heard spouse. For some of you, this is your spouse. Get ready. Yes, the battle is real. <laughs> the battle is going to be real. This person is not going to want to move whatsoever. I heard like family and friends. This person is not going to want to leave their family or friends. You know, people that they've known forever. They're just not going to want to pick up and move, Gemini. So, yeah, you're going to have some issues. But ultimately, you are going to be offered a new position that... Again, I heard like see the world that allows you to travel a lot. Let's see the world, see different countries. I'm getting Africa for someone. I have turkey spirit give with gratitude and grace. With this give with gratitude and grace spirit is saying like self. Spirit just says self love. So yes. Spirit wants you to give to yourself, to do what's best for you in the month of April. Recognize like you just can't be there for everybody. You can't please everybody, Gemini. Like you just have to, you know, I heard like put your foot down and focus on you. Spirit, give me another message for Gemini. Oh, okay. I have two more messages for you. If I can get it. Okay. I can't get it, Gemini. But it is Lion Spirit. Be generous of spirit. So, yes. God Spirit wants you to spend a lot of time. With him. In the month of April. Going back to the hermit energy reflection. Yes. Spirit is asking for your time, Gemini. God is asking for your time in the month of April. I heard like priority, so make that a priority. And you know, spending time with God, it isn't difficult. You spend time with God, driving, meditating, going for a walk. 
I mean, it's nothing that's so complicated. Just by doing simple things, you know, that's spending time with God, meditating on God. Um, I heard prayer for someone laying in the bed, like before your feet touch the floor and just having a conversation, just saying, you know, Lord, I thank you for another day. Like that's spending time. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, so intricate. You don't have to take out five six hours a day no even if it's just five minutes spend time with spirit and i heard like honor your spirituality like honor your spirit honor your soul like take care of that spiritual vessel just as you take care of your physical vessel the last message I have is antelope spirit. Life is speeding up. Exactly. This is this eight of wands energy. For some of you, you have something coming in very quickly. Life is picking up. It's going at a fast pace. Things are changing rapidly for you, Gemini, in the month of April. Spirit says, like, can you catch it? Yes. You have to be in a space of mindset to catch it, to take hold of it. I heard, like, get it in your grasp. Don't let it slip away. Whatever this opportunity is, whatever this new beginning is, grasp it. Don't let it slip away. Go with the flow. Go with the flow of life, Gemini. And again, I go back to open your arms. Open your arms and receive it. Receive whatever God's spirit has in store for you. Let's get one more. And then that will be it. Spirit, give me one more message for... Gemini. One more message for Gemini. I am connected exactly. Spirit really wants you to connect with your higher self in the month of April. That's going to be very important. I'm also getting like intuitive. Pay attention to your intuition, Gemini, in the month of April. Um, you're going to be receiving like a lot of guidance. You're going to be getting a lot of downloads. Yeah, with some of you with all of these changes, you know, a new job, new career, you moving, traveling. It's just a lot that's going to be going on. Walking away from a relationship, you know, having new love offers presented to you. It's just a lot of different energies that's going to be surrounding you. So don't forget to take time to, again, give to yourself turkey spirit. Spend time with you. Spend time with God in the month of April because it's going to help you deal with all of these different changes and I also heard like relax it's going to help you remain calm through it all so Gemini these are your messages I hope they resonate stay true to thyself and real with thyself grow with me as I grow with you everyone stay blessed